Hello, my name is Dr. Tayar Altukulaj, and I'm the president of the Board of Trustees at Istanbul Yirmiyo Kuzmaiz University. I'm going to talk about the purpose for which our organization was founded. We have a lot of universities founded by the non-profit organization. One of these is the Department of Religious Affairs Foundation, which was founded in Istanbul, Yirmiyo Kuzmaiz University. If you look at the kind of action and activities of the Turkish Religious Foundation, it will show you what our purpose is. We have awarded 150,000 scholarships to several students. We have male and female dormitories in various cities to meet the needs of our students. We have many student assistance programs, especially in the Eurasian geography. These programs focus more on education and training. In recent years, it is possible to say that the services of the Directorate of Religious Affairs has other goals such as providing support to these areas. While establishing the university, the Turkish Religious Foundation didn't think of running the school from the educational fees, so making money is not our priority. Using its own sources and income, the university aims to provide opportunities for our students. Looking from this perspective, it can be said that there is no non-scholarship student in the university. Everyone has a definite amount of scholarship. The goal is not only to focus on students who need scholarships, but to dedicate its full attention on all who needs it. The goal isn't to increase the quantity of incoming students, but to increase the quality. When the university entrance points are examined, it can be seen that although we are a new establishment, we have succeeded in being the center of attention of university candidates. High scoring students prefer us as a university. Because Istanbul Yumidokus aims at quality rather than quantity, and quality at the university is of multiple importance. We aim not only at the undergraduate level, but also to those who have the ability and desire to do graduate programs. We have already begun to open them. After taking a look at our academic staff, how much we care about the quality will be understood better. A faculty providing quality education is one of the issues that is most important to us. Some faculties aren't available in our university yet. It is not a problem to find a sufficient number of faculty members. This can be done easily. But without quality educators, opening up a faculty would be like establishing another version of a high school, and this we can't condone. Qualified and well-trained experienced faculty members will be selected whenever we choose to open the faculties or departments. Naturally, students wishing to study in a city like Istanbul, most importantly, need housing and accommodation. As of this year, especially for female students, the university has provided accommodation with the capacity to hold more than the students we have. And for this reason, students from other universities have stayed in our dormitories. Housing facilities are provided at the level of five-star hotels. We have two dormitories to meet the needs of our male students, and the construction of another male dormitory is high on our priority list. Our primary target is for our university to be a place of science. It is very important for the students who want to study to take advantage of our library facilities. The university compared with other universities in this regard to the extent of amenities has everything you will need. The Islam Research Library is open to all students. This library has over 300,000 books and documents. This library has attracted a lot of academics and scholars, both abroad and domestic, who have come and done research for days at a time. In addition, student study and research reading rooms meet the requirement of what our students expect. As of today, the university's priority is to make the campus bigger. As the Board of Trustees, we are bent in solving this issue, and I can say that we are right on track. 
By the upcoming season, I hope that our Imrania campus construction will have started, even though our student number isn't much. We can say that we have the highest rate of foreign students. Before application and registration, we await students to visit and see our campus by themselves. Prospective students at our university are going to be happy and we wait for them with excitement. Thank you very much.